finding someone that's an MC that can help you, mm. um, help you move a wedding around. Cause that's, that's the toughest part, I think, out of, uh, weddings to, you know, to delegate, uh, time management, to know what to say, to ask the right questions. So with an MC, with, with an MC more experienced than you, I think they can help you, um, you know, focus on what's important, but also direct you on where you need, what you need to know, where you need to go. And that, that way for the next wedding, you already have the hits, you already have the music. You just kind of, you kind of mimic what that MC did. And that's when you have an idea of what to do for your next wedding. So that's, that's the advice I will give to a, a beginner. Just find someone that is a little bit more experienced than, than you be it being a DJ or MC or both, and then letting them, Help you taking the price cut and giving them half of whatever you're earning, so you you learn. That's the most important thing, just to learn how to properly uh, MC or DJ a a wedding. Mm-hmm. Man, great great tips, man. I I wish I did that in my first wedding. Hiring MC, <laughs> <laughs> you're so right, man. Because you I, like I can I remember my first wedding like literally 11 years ago, and I'm sitting here on my phone like, yo, what what should I say? I, like I had it written down. But I'm like, oh, it doesn't sound right. Like should I say it like this? I, so yeah, no, that's so true. You know, definitely hire an MC, and uh, yeah, you know, you could follow that direction and see really how a wedding's you know properly hosted and, and properly ran. So no, great it, great tip. And the, the next, the next tip too, I, I would say for the next, for the second wedding you do, is when you get down the format or you write down what the things you copy from that MC. This is yeah. a really good tip I tell every MC, and it helps them project their voice. So this is what I tell them: like, once you get your script down, get go in front of a mirror and repeat what you say, but record it too, so that way mm. um, you can hear when your when your voice goes down when you say certain words or when you keep it straight, and then. It's, it's, uh, what's the word? It's directly into the microphone. So what I do is go in front. What I used to do is go in front of a, a microphone. I mean, a, a mirror, say what you want, but when you say whatever you want to say, push your hand out like that and pretend it's your words like that. And that's how you can direct, make your, your, make your words or more, whatever you're saying, more, um, project out more, and- you project, yeah, you project it out more. You, you put, you keep the energy mm. in your words or in your, in your, whatever you're saying versus your, your, your voice going, uh, Hey, hello. My name is, uh, you want to say, hi, my name is whatever. So yeah, push your hand out like that. It's, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a tip I've shown, uh, to other, uh, beginner DJs when they want to get better at emceeing. And then next thing you know, they're like, yo, that, that shit worked. Like what the hell? I don't know the science behind it, but it worked, but I, I, I can't explain necessarily explain why it worked, but I learned that from a, um, uh, I used to, I, I used to um, take lessons for opera mm, uh, okay. when I was younger. Yeah, I can't, I can't sing worth a shit. But no, I, used, I, I, uh, <laughs> I took, I took opera lessons for like three, um, three or four months. One of the biggest lessons I learned was how to project my voice from that. Yeah. Um, and that, that's one of the first lessons I learned from, uh, from, uh, yeah, from that opera teacher. But yeah, that's that's just something to add, like something to, for a beginner DJ MC to to do a trick, or if you will. Yeah. If you're enjoying the content you're watching right now. And you want to learn how to level up at all your events and create vibes? Well, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. Man, you took opera. That's very unique, man. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's different, man. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I can't sing though. <laughs> I, I remember being in that lady's living room just singing uh like Pavarotti or some other, you know, okay. classical <laughs> Italian opera singer. And I'm like, whoa. And she's like, you gotta, you gotta do it like this. And I'm like, do it again. I'm like, no, do it again. Do it again, and I never got it down. It's just, it just wasn't for me. I picked up DJing and guitar a lot quicker than I did opera. Opera is mm-hmm. opera is tough, but uh, yeah, yeah. Imagine, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>